It's all about the lawnmowers today. We're gonna to talk about the best of the best and the ones to avoid like the plague with a little bit of a twist thrown in at the end. So let's get started. Surprise today guys, Toro makes one of the absolute best lawnmowers and one of the worst. This Toro Turf Master is the absolute worst lawnmower. No matter how long I own it, I can't convince myself to like it. For a push mower, this thing is just way too heavy. It's overbuilt, not allowing an operator to easily maneuver it. It is a commercial unit, meaning it is meant to be heavy duty, but that doesn't mean it needs to be bulky and cumbersome. There is a lot of room for improvement on this machine. It's kind of like a little guy stuck in a fat suit. What? The power that this machine generates just does not translate to the wheels and the wheels don't translate what power it does receive to the ground. Meaning the operator ends up doing all of the heavy lifting. Okay, now I get it. You just gotta think like a Polak. Toro, I hope you got your listening ears on because you got a long way to go with this machine. Uh, in the small corners, in the little areas up front here, it's hard to turn around. For a push mower, it should be heavy duty, but not heavy. And you could grab that Cub Cadet, or you could grab that Toro. Which one are you gonna grab? I'm gonna take the Cub Cadet. On top of all this good news, this lawnmower has broke down more than any other lawnmower we've owned in the last three years. It just keeps getting better and better with this Toro Turf Master, doesn't it? Yes, who's a good girl? You're a good girl. Okay, that's good enough. Now, oddly enough, besides making one of the worst lawnmowers ever, they also make one of the best lawnmowers ever. Kind of makes you wonder if you're even dealing with the same company. Now I got some dusting to do. <laughs> that looks a little better. I absolutely love these grandstands. Phenomenal quality. In the three seasons that I put on both of these units, I've never had a single issue with anything ever at all. With nearly 600 combined hours in the two lawnmowers, I've never had one single mechanical problem yet. Nothing that I can complain about in any way, shape, or form. It's tough for me to be able to say that and give you some negative feedback on a lawnmower like this when I really don't have anything bad to say about them. The maneuverability and speed of these lawnmowers is absolutely phenomenal. But these, above and beyond all else, have been absolutely flawless lawnmowers. Toro's not paying me to say any of this. In fact, they won't even return my phone calls. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it worked, Gracie. What do you uh okay what are you doing? What are you Gracie, what are you doing? What was that about? Now the hidden gem, the twist that I want to talk to you about is this little Cub Cadet. This is my favorite part about this mower. It starts every time just by pushing this big red button right here. No pulling, no cranking, no choking, nothing else. I love big red buttons. I'm gonna teach you in under 30 seconds how to use this Cub Cadet. Pull the safety lever back, you got a giant red button. That's my daughter, doesn't she look thrilled? Release the safety lever, it automatically shuts the mower off. When you want to go slow, you hit this lever right here. If you want to go fast, you hit this lever here. And if you need all four wheels driving at the same time, pull them both back, and you got four wheel drive a lot more. You can have a high speed or a low speed. You can have front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or you can have the whole thing driving at the same time. Okay. Really an intuitive design. Let's go. One of the things that I don't like about it is every time you release the bale, it automatically shuts off. It would be nice if it would shut off the blades only, leaving the engine running. This switch ever fails, this is a relatively easy lawnmower to start. This battery actually charges just like a car would charge. Every time you're running it, it's charging the battery. So you'd never have to plug this lawnmower in. It's not a battery powered mower. You don't ever have to charge it up or plug it in or mess with stupid cords to make sure you got a mower that works. You don't have to do anything except for pull, the, push the button and you got a lawnmower that's running. They've got two areas for improvement. One, correct that bale so the lawnmower doesn't shut off when you release it. Number two, I could see where these 
plastic rims could be could get broken or brittle over time so I'd like to see them make an improvement on these tires but that's a small area of improvement for the rest of the quality that they put into this little Cub Cadet I absolutely like this lawnmower hey if this video has helped you guys out let me know in the comments down below or hit the like button and also tell me what your favorite lawnmower is and which one you never would buy again now I got a lawnmower to go fix you check back in because this beast of a lawnmower made by Wright is getting its own review coming soon.